is the nicest one we've seen so far. It's all about getting it to the right place. Okay, storage room, the entrance way, storage room off to the right, closet to the left, drop down living room, two steps down, fireplace, ground floor, looks out to the front. This place sits on the river. But it's uh, we got a front location, which to be honest is a much nicer location than the ones that look over the river on the parking lot level anyway. This would be quieter. Because everybody would enter the building from the back. Kitchen. New appliances. Uh, Frigidaire stainless steel. Neither here nor there, but carpets are in good shape. Lighting up top is in good shape. Secondary bedroom, decent size, double closet. Uh, in suite, washer and dryer. Washer, dryer, front load, pretty much brand new. Master bedroom, quite nice, decent size. And again, you have the walk-through bathroom, and this one double closet there. And then you have a separate sink here, same as the second one we looked at over Linden Woods. The design is almost identical. You have a bathroom in excellent shape. Um, this is actually quite nice. And again, tub and shower. I like the first one, Linden Wood. And you go through, and. in closet in the bathroom. Back around. Small hallway here. Background up in the bathroom. Bedrooms start kitchen. And then dining room right here. And we're back in the room. Yeah this is a uh, First floor is for sale, eh? Actually, in this one, I'd rather have a first floor. Yeah? Because that gives you the green. Hello. Kitchen, dining room, living room. Sun, sun room. It's a door to the outside, is it? Be used in the winter. There's a. Can I? And it looks like they got activities and stuff like. Okay. All right, Joanne. This is the one that your in-laws lovingly refer to as Pakistani Towers on Corydon. Um, we're on the eleventh floor. You enter the room, there's a double closet immediately to your right when you come in, and then there is the kitchen. Kitchen is dated, um, no dishwasher, uh, fridge and stove, ample counter space, double sink, um, and a pass through to the living room. When you go through the kitchen on the other side. There's like a spot for a dishwasher there. Uh, oh, maybe. But on the other side is. These double doors, they're metal instead of uh, wood. And you'll see there's no washer and dryer, but it's all plum for it. It's just a matter of putting a washer and dryer in. There's the water, um, the drain, 
and the power and the vent for the dryer. So to put a washer and dryer in here would be just a matter of bringing it up in the elevator and putting it in. Um, then there's another set of storage space here for your pantry or whatever. Uh, it's actually quite deep, surprisingly deep. And you're back into a living room here or dining formal dining area. And of course you've got the pass-through from the kitchen. And then you know she's got just bar stools or whatever. And then the living room is not bad size. It ties into the dining room, so it makes it look bigger than it actually is. And then off here, there's another storage area here in the living room, which is quite large, uh, three feet plus by uh, my guess is four and a half feet wide. And then there's a full size deck outside. Um, yeah, full-size deck uh, overlooking, I think that's a Cineway Park off the distance. Yeah. And then down the hallway, so the first bedroom is, uh, is the second bedroom, is a small bedroom. Uh, um, you know, single bed, uh, double closet, not very large. Flooring is solid, like it's parquet flooring. And it's, it's clearly concrete construction because nothing creaks at all. The master bedroom is quite large, uh, surprisingly large. Um, that's a twin bed, not a queen size bed. But the master bedroom is quite large. And the master bedroom has a walk in closet. Um, so there is ample closet, closet space, as you can see. And then the bathroom is purple, but fully functional. Um, smaller sink, toilet, and um, tub and shower, but it uh, definitely dated. So this is the one that has the building, the condominium uh, fees include indoor parking, has a big swimming pool, sauna, the whole nine yards and it's an older condominium building and I think the majority of the people in the building are probably over 60. Okay.